This episode is brought to you by SMP Inc. and also JPS Computers. And we want to shout out to the Rock Rage Radio listeners. Thank you for listening to A Hero's Journey podcast, which, if you're listening, is just a reminder that every morning you wake up, you are the hero of your own story. Um, I'm going to pass this along to my co-host. My name is Brian Hopkins, and I'm sitting with Danielle Vasanova, and she's going to introduce our guests, and one of them has been here before. Welcome back, you guys, to Hero's Journey podcast, Rock Rage Radio. Thank you guys so much. Uh, Brian Hopkins, I'm Danielle Vasanova, and I'm very happy to uh, introduce to you Dr. Nathan Bryan, who we've had on the show before, and his partner in crime, his, uh, the president of N101, Susan Schaefer, is on the show as well. So welcome, you both. Thank you so much for being here. Thank, Thank you, you Danielle. Thank you, Brian. Yeah. Thank you for having us. So I have to shout out real quick because, uh, you know, Dr. Nathan Bryan, yes, you know, Brian uh, like you. or we just call him Brian Nathan with, a bro- with a Y. <laughs> yeah, we're just friends now. <laughs> he was on a show and literally changed our lives. Um, Both you bo- yeah. and Trav now yes. are not using fluoride in your toothpaste. Uh, exactly. I, the, the product, the lozenge, dude, every day um, I'm taking it. It has changed the way I think. The I have talked. Outside lozenge. Yes, exactly. He sent I, you those and the skincare. Skincare. Like That's my, why you look so pretty. You know, yes. my skin is glowing. <laughs> um, it, it it's unreal because you were here in studio, and I was sitting across from you, and I just was blown away by the knowledge that you dropped on us. Mm-hmm. Um, it was one of those things where I thought. Everyone needs to hear this. Everyone needs to be aware of you and what you guys are doing. I called my mom and dad, literally, and then I called my brother. <laughs> and I have talked about you like you're the second coming. I'm not, no joke. Because you and didn't even know what you were walking into I had that no day. idea. I love that. And I didn't I, tell Brian anything. No, I love that about this show. I, I literally say to her, I don't want to know too much. I just want to know their names and I want to get to know you. And you Mm -hmm. blew my mind. So for those of you who did not get to see that episode, please explain, you know, what, what I'm talking about, what we're talking about. And then, you know, I want you guys to get into this because everyone needs to be aware of your product. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, thanks, Brian. Look, there's no replicating being in studio with you guys and feeling the energy. So I'm a little bit bummed that we're, you know, we're, we're zooming in today, but you know, thanks then that, that means that I've done my job, right? And I think, you know, to put an emphasis on what you guys do and how you change the world, you get these messages that I think are so important from the scientific literature and discoveries we've made out mm-hmm. to the masses. And that's the that's the role, the very important critical role you guys play because I th- I've been doing this for more than 20 years. So for me, I've known now for more than two decades how important this message is around nitric oxide and how it can transform and change people's lives and you know allow a strategy now for the prevention of many chronic diseases and better management of health and wellness so you know i'm, I'm really excited to bring on my my business partner susan shaper to kind of tell you the story of the genesis of this because <clears throat> basic science discoveries really mean nothing if they're not translated into products that people can take and to feel confident in, and you see that transformation in their lives. So thank you, Brian, for, for continuing to talk about us and get this message out here, because I think it's, it truly is one of those stories where what you don't know will kill you. And this is so simple. It's a very powerful molecule, so simple, with product technology now that has the, the potential and will and has changed millions of lives. It, it changed mine in just a short little time. In the 30 minutes you were with us, I was, I, I, I looked in your eyes and I believed everything you said. Um, and I want everyone around me to be healthy. I want everyone else, I want my family and my friends and anybody who was is can hear this to listen to what you guys are saying. So, And it's so potent and these products are so effective. And it's like, you didn't even know about that before he came on the show. No. And so that means there's millions of other people that aren't even aware, that don't even know about this. Can you recap a little bit about how this works? Sure. Well, what we do is nitric oxide. So we have product technology that we've um, 
brought to market in the form of an orally disintegrating tablet. And so just to backtrack and very quick, it's nitric oxide is a gas. It's naturally produced in the body. The older we get, the less we make. And loss of nitric oxide is what's responsible for age-related disease. Uh, so trying to figure out how to recapitulate and restore nitric oxide production in the human body has been considered the holy grail in anti-aging medicine, cardiovascular medicine. And fortunately, we've made discoveries to, to where we can we figure this out. So any product that we bring to market generates nitric oxide gas. We can quantify it. We can verify it. Uh, you know, we have a lozenge. We have a, a topical skin care that when you apply it to the skin, you see it turn pink, which shows you that the product is actually working. And so that's based on 20 something years of, of research and discovery and bringing these products to market. And we're kind of famous for being the first people to bring to market a solid dose form of a nitric oxide gas. So we've really transformed the physical chemistry in terms of science. But these products are unlike any other in the marketplace. And we generate a gas that the body naturally produces. And we see transformative results when people take the lozenge or apply the serum to the skin. And then how did Susan come on board? Where did you meet? <laughs> well, Susan, I'll let you tell the story. It's been, it's, you know, just like the theme of this whole podcast, it's a journey. And I was very fortunate and blessed to, to meet Susan, uh, I guess that was 12, 13 years ago. So I was retired at the time, and um, I had a friend ask me to come out and support their new business that they were getting ready to launch. Uh, I was curious and always, you know, always wanting to help a friend and never say no. So I said, sure. So I came out and uh, visited with them several times and started to learn more about this molecule, which at the beginning, I was like, I have never even heard of this. I consider myself a health you know, a healthy person that's very in tune to what is out there on the market that my body should need. Um, but I just, you know, kind of minimalized it a little bit at first, um, but still wanted to support my friends. And then I heard Nathan speak for the first time about what this was. And I will tell you, it, it changed my life. Um, as you guys were both saying, mm -hmm. um, the fact that uh, we could do something with this simple lozenge that could then change a person's health and their trajectory with just simple choices of adding this into their daily routine um, that, you know, most people don't want to change their lifestyle choices or they don't want to go change their dietary behaviors and anything like that. It's sometimes it's just difficult for people to do and to understand that this molecule that I didn't even know that I was born with and that I'm losing and the impact of it long term I realized that this would have saved my parents' life. This would have prolonged their lives with quality. And it, it was as, as simple as just taking this little lozenge that would make their lives different. Mm -hmm. um, and their long-term you know, health outcomes different as well, because every disease has a vascular connection. And once I understood that, I had to be a part of it. I had to share this. I had to get the word out. And I felt morally obligated to do so. So I was honored to partner up with Dr. Brian and to be able to do what I could to contribute in the different ways that we did over the years. That's amazing. That's wow. the way I felt mm -hmm. when he sat across from me. Um, cause I didn't feel like, uh, you know, Nathan, I, I honestly did not feel like you were selling me anything. You were yep. sharing knowledge that, that even the chief nerd, you know, uh, Travis running it literally said when it was over, the world needs to know this. And I yeah. said, yeah, the hair is standing up my arms because it's true. Yeah. Um, I wanted everyone to know I've talked about you more than I've talked about anyone that I've met in a long time. <laughs> I, it was, I, I'm dude, rock star. And so, you know, what Susan's saying about you, it's, it wasn't a sales pitch. It was, Hey, this is what I've spent my life doing. Dedicating um, my life. Exactly. To this. In, yeah. in an area where in a hero's journey, you're walking into a cave. That's where the gold is, or that's where you don't know that it's it's there, but you're going into the unknown, mm -hmm. and you stepped into a, a place that n no one ventured to to do because it was can't be done. That's what they said. Right. It couldn't be done, and you're doing it. And I I just wish that I would have met you a long time ago. But I am out to share your 
word. I'm, ch- I'm out to share it with the people that I care about. Better and late than never, right? Exactly. We're all here right now. Yeah. You know, there's another podcast called Dadcast that, yeah. that Daniel and I, you know, are indirectly work with, directly work with, that you guys need to be on. You need to share your story. Everyone needs to know it. Mm-hmm. Um, Susan, uh, um, when it comes to what is it that is your, now, now that we heard how you met your partners, what is it that you're doing together? So we have uh, three companies that are all nitric oxide centric. And as uh, he mentioned earlier, our job is to bring forth uh, different product technology and different form factors that will support the body. And and there's different needs And, and nitric oxide can apply to so many different areas. And so our job is one to educate uh, and then two, to be able to bring uh, safe and efficacious product options um, in different form factors that that will help the human body. And How so, many different products do you have right now? Well, we have five uh, in the skincare line, uh, Numa Nitric Oxide. Um, and then we have Can you two talk pro- a little bit about each one? Sure. Um, we have a, a, we've got a skincare system. We've got it. Our hero product is our topical nitric oxide serum. Oh my God. Uh, I love that. That is the miracle. That is like the fountain of youth right there. Oh, she's going to grab it. Where are you going? (laughs) Did did they send you the serum, Brian? Uh, Yes. This stuff is amazing. Wow. I noticed a difference like day one. Yes. Yes. That is the one. I'm obsessed. This is our our hero product. Um, We came to market being skincare. It was a really easy way to enter the market space. Um, it's the first topical nitric oxide ever brought to market. So we're really proud of this innovation from Dr. Brian's work. Um, and it's a dual chamber system. So what you do is you pump one side from each uh, each side. I'm just gonna prime that. And then you mix it together. And then by doing so, it's going to activate the nitric oxide gas that we're trying to generate. And what you might not be able to see in the screen is uh, that there's, it's going to start to micro bubble. It's just, again, evidence that the gas is being generated. And then you'll also see that the area underneath will turn pink. We call yeah. it the new glow. Numa is Greek for breath of life. Um, and so we'll start to see this area turn pink. It doesn't burn, doesn't itch. Um, there's no heat to it. It's just that it absorbs the- right away. It's not sticky. Right. Yeah. And this is enough to apply to the whole face, the neck, and the back, you know, of the hands. And what we're trying to do is just improve the blood flow. I don't know if you could see. Um, yeah, we can see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you can actually see. So what that does, we created a new a category in skincare and beauty. Because as you guys are probably aware, most beauty products and skincare products are designed to mask the blemishes or mask the fine lines and wrinkles. Mm. What we do, unlike anybody on the market, is we actually get to the root cause of aging. So the skin is an organ. People forget that. So just like the heart or the brain, if you don't have enough blood flow to those organs, they fail. So if you don't have enough blood flow to the skin, that organ fails. But what does a failing skin look like? We get fine lines and wrinkles. You lose high, uh, collagen. You lose hydration. You get acne. You get blemishes. And you look old. Mm. So our whole concept is let's get to the root cause of aging. Let's restore blood flow to the skin, to the dermis, get good stuff in, bad stuff out, regenerate the skin cells, improve cellular turnover, and improve the tone, texture, and clarity of the skin. So we get to the root cause of aging, and it's delivery of nitric oxide gas through that dual chamber nitric oxide delivery system. I notice a difference in my skin right away, like almost day one from using that. Uh, To be honest. Dewy and glowy, and yeah. I'm somebody who... No joke. My girl makes fun of me because she never sees me wash my face. Um, it was like when You're I had dirty, long hair. Birdie. No, no, no. But it's <laughs> I shower, but she never. You know, she has a routine. You, you ladies are lathering your bodies before you go to bed and all this stuff. And and I don't. And she's always upset because she's like, "Wow, I like you know, I've always loved your skin, and I'm much older than you are." And the thing is, but you have natural oils in there, probably. Right, and so. But this, I, I tried for the first time. She made me do the whole thing, walk me through how mm-hmm. to do this. Mm-hmm. And I'm laying in bed, and probably 20 minutes later, I'm touching my skin, and I'm like, mm. oh, wow. Like, it feels different. Mm-hmm. And so, and I saw that my skin turned pink instantly. Like, it, it took a pink color, but it didn't burn, and it didn't itch, didn't, right. nothing. And 
it, it was like something's happening right now. And again, you you had me sold on on somebody who didn't even think about those things. And then, but from the inside out, you guys have created these products that that are are helping us from the inside outwardly, which is amazing. And that's just one. So please. Yeah, that says a lot, right? Because yeah, you're, a guy. You know you're, you're so right in what you're saying, both of you. And if you can think about the concept of start here first, mm -hmm. whether it's the topical ap application on your skin or whether you take the lozenge internally, um, if you can improve the vascular structure of your body, external, internal, then anything else that you apply on the skin or anything that you do is only going to absorb in better, as well as all the things that you're doing right now. Everyone's spending so much time you know, trying to take care of the bodies, being proactive, going to the gym, mm -hmm. eating organic, mm -hmm. eat, taking supplements, maybe doing IV infusions or maybe doing other therapies. Start with nitric oxide first. Get your blood flow going from a one lane highway to a five lane highway. And then everything that you do is going to be impacted in a beneficial way to the body. Wow. I love that. <laughs> Again, yeah, so once we I'm realize, blown away. <laughs> You're like, yeah. I don't even know. Yeah. I'm, yeah. It, it, you know, I'm a guy and I'm, I'm like you, Brian. I've never used skincare. I mean, obviously yeah, we, we wash our face when we take a shower, but yeah. we don't have a skincare routine. Right. That, once, that we entered, once we entered skincare and beauty, we realized that most women have a skincare system, right? So we created a glycolic wash, a natural wash made from a fruit, from fruits and enzymes. So we, it's a glycolic wash. It's exfoliating. So we start with that and to provide kind of like a clean canvas. And then we provide the N101 serum that opens up kind of the blood flow and, and kind of tills the soil, if you will. Mm. And then we also created an eye cream and a face cream that contains uh, peptides, growth factors that help with it's, it's hydrating. It's hydrating. Um, so, it's non-greasy. It absorbs quickly. Yeah. yeah you yeah, can it's apply the, your makeup afterwards. Yep. So that's our kind of a topical skincare system. We have a glycolic wash, the N101 serum, the eye cream, and the face cream. Well, it's really and regenerative. And that's simple. And then, we have the, then we have the lozenge that you take internally because beauty is a reflection of internal health. Yeah. The beauty of the, the, the touch and feel of our skin is really a reflection of our internal health. So we can apply all this topically, but if we're not healthy internally, then <coughs> it's, it's a Band-Aid. It's not really getting to the root of the problem. Right. So we created the nitric oxide lozenge it opens up the, the blood vessels and the circulation improves blood flow internally. So now we're hitting the skin from inside and out. And when you get the good stuff in, take the bad stuff out, cells are out, allowed to do what they're designed to do, and that's regenerate and perform their function. So it's really unlike any other technology. And how, how quickly can people typically see results from using these products? Well, we have four published clinical trials on the effects of the serum and within 30 days we see almost transformative results i i, I mean, noticed in less than 30. yeah we hear, noticed very quickly we hear feedback um sometimes within a week or two and, yeah. and you know kind of you know we've got a lot of biohackers people who are very invent you know inventful like in trying different approaches with the skincare mm. whether they have acne or rosacea or eczema any kind of trauma to the skin a lot of medi spas will also use it pre and post different procedures to help make that um what, whatever the treatment they're receiving that day uh, you know be better um the other thing to consider that we're really proud of is that you know we live in a society where people want instant gratification on things which is fine and you can go out and do different procedures but we want to embrace a person and their health as they're aging and danielle you can probably appreciate this especially after your life-changing story mm -hmm. your near-death experience and really now embracing life and living it and for us we don't age shame age shame a person man or woman we embrace the fact that we are aging which means that we're living mm -hmm. i'm 53 my mother died at 59 wow. and i you know, my mother would have loved to have lived to 75 and been more wrinkly and more whatever her age, you know, however it reveals in her body would have been. She would have loved to have the privilege of that. And so we want to give the person what they need to be at their best, whatever form of way they want to choose to you know, go through the aging process. But we just want to embrace them, offer these products and give them the best support for their you know, internal and external blood flow needs.
The best at any age, exactly. God, your skin is amazing. I cannot even believe your age. You look gorgeous. Yeah, it's and here's the thing. I want to back it up because yeah. we we had the chance to talk to uh, Dr. Brian. Yeah. You said earlier on you retired when you came into this. You were already yeah. retired, and y- you know you're 53 now. So, w- what's your story? Like how? Yeah. How are you retiring? Coming out of such retirement. A, exactly. Coming yeah. out of retirement to, <laughs> to change the world. Yeah. Just, just I was in, I was in the tech space and really? uh, I was fortunate just to be at the right place at the right time, which is a continued theme throughout my life. Um, and I, you know, I welcome new opportunities. I welcome growth, you know, um, I have a growth mindset. So, you know, different opportunities that were presented to me might not have been an ideal fit as I was, you know, growing up along the way, but I welcomed them, um, learned from them and took basically one leap had, you know, one, one step to the next step to the other. And then this led me to where I was able to meet Dr. Brian. So, um, I, I just, I'm always open to change and um, went from the tech world. And I knew when I left the tech world, I had a strong desire to go into health and wellness. Um, I had my own story with my dad, with his near death experience, um, finding my, well, my dad had strokes growing up and my parents were entrepreneurs. We had our own businesses and the first stroke, I was eight years old. His second stroke, I was 14 and just the sheer nature of our family businesses and dynamic, I was challenged to, you know, take care of my father while he was home and my mother to work to take care of the family businesses. And because I was competent and I, by the grace of God, he did not die on my watch. Mm -hmm. um, I had to take care of him. And then when we challenged the medical space to understand why he was having these strokes, especially when he was told that the third one would permanently paralyze him or kill him, we wanted to know why. And we went all over seeking medical, the best medical experts to tell us why. And they all said, mm, we don't know. Just when it happens, give us a call. And then, you know, we'll figure it out then. And my dad was like, I'm either going to be dead or paralyzed and I will have no options. So he continued to seek um, other all options, which then opened my eyes as I witnessed this to be a, your own advocate. And mm-hmm. so we went uh, to different places. Uh, it was introduced to Chinese medicine and Chinese herbs, acupuncture, and uh, went on a couple of year journey of trying to get support for him. He never had another stroke again. Wow. And wow. That really opened my eyes. And the fact that my dad was very rigid on doing something alternative, going against the grain with, you know, Western medicine, his, you know, his culture, his, you know, generation was the doctor tells you something, you do it. Mm -hmm. And after that experience, it really taught me that, you know, no, you can ask questions, you can seek out, maybe combine different modalities or different treatments uh, to be able to help yourself. And so, that's that 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 just really taught me that you can always be open and it can always benefit you. So the journey led you here, and um, yeah. it, but this is again one of those things where I'm in a position where I'm just blown away, um, and and you guys are doing a wonderful thing. It's changed the way I think. And this is going to continue to do skin. that. Exactly. And, and my look, skin. And I look. look good. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, I, think, you know, I appreciate uh-huh. you saying that because together we're just extending our circle of responsibility. Right. Yeah. Because you can't unknow once you know it. And and it's so simple to share. And, and, and there's so many people that just don't understand that they're born with this amazing molecule and that they really need to pay attention to the restoration of it to the body as we lose it. Yeah. Yeah, and I think, look, there are no accidents. I mean, I think I said this on the podcast, that God puts people in our lives at the right time for a certain reason. Mm -hmm. So there's a reason that I was introduced to Susan, Brian and Danielle. There's a reason we met and are, you know, having this conversation today. And I think our mission, you know, is to change the world because I think truly, I don't think I know uh, that this molecule can and will change the world. We've seen it over the past many years, and I think this is, this has been the missing link in, in healthcare and medicine uh, for the past couple hundred years. So I think we've truly discovered what's considered the Holy Grail. Uh, but now it's just, 
getting the message out there. And I think that's the critical role you guys play in this journey, this hero's journey, is how do we educate the masses? How do we make people aware of this? Exactly. So that they know. And it's 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 really education. The science is very clear. Now it's just about education and information. And empowerment for them to do something for themselves and their families. So those of you listening out there right now, um, what's the website? What, where can they go right now? I want them to even, we're not done yet, but just listening right now, I want them to be able to, to find you, find you. Yeah. Well, here's what I tell people. We're not here to sell you products. We're here to provide you information where you can make informed and educated decisions about what you do for your own health. Right. So always the first place I send people is to my educational website. It's Dr. Nathan S. Uh, there's a six minute video on there. So I, I encourage people to educate themselves on nitric oxide and try to make the lifestyle changes that are impacting your nitric oxide production. And then what if you're looking for- What are some of those lifestyle for, changes? Well, we discussed it on the previous podcast. If you're using mouthwash, you have to stop. If right, you have fluoride right. in your toothpaste, you have to get rid of fluoride. Right. If you're on antacids, you have to stop. Right. And if you don't exercise, then you have to start and get 20, 30 minutes of sunlight a day. Those simple lifestyle changes will dr- dramatically transform your life. And then if you want to take product technology that you know works, you know, here's the problem. There are hundreds of nitric oxide products on the market, hundreds of companies out there selling nitric oxide products. 99% of them don't work. They don't generate nitric oxide. So the confidence that we want to provide to people is if we create a nitric oxide product, you can be confident that it's safe and it generates nitric oxide gas. We can quantify it. We can verify it. We do that through the serum, the n 101 So the, the website for the skincare product is www.n101.com. And then we have a nutritional line uh, where we bring to market a, a lozenge as well as a pre-workout natural energy drink. And those products can be found at www.no2u.com. That's N-O, the number two, the letter U.com. Okay. So you have an energy drink. That's interesting because... Well, have you tried that one yet? No, I haven't. Okay. And that's, that's can you some... tell us a little bit more about that? Well, you know, years ago, it was realized that beets were becoming this kind of hero vegetable, right? This performance enhancing vegetable. So the the market was flooded with beet products. And I've tested all of these and 95% of them don't do anything to, you know, turn your urine and your feces uh, pink and cause a lot of anxiety. (laughs) So we thought, well, we can do better. How do we create a beet product that actually generates nitric oxide gas? The other problem was beets are the third most unlike vegetable in the world. People don't <laughs> like beets, including myself. Yeah. So here's what we did. We created a fermented beet product where we optimize the nitric oxide activity. We take the beet pulp, the beet color, the oxalates out of the beet so it doesn't taste or look like beets. So we generate nitric oxide and we add electrolytes to this product because most Americans are sailor dehydrated. So we have to have the electrolytes. And then the other thing is we provide mitochondrial energy, ATP. Most people suffer from fatigue and lethargy. So this is a a natural energy source. We know now that things like Monster, uh, uh, the uh, Red Bull, the five-hour energy drinks, these are causing unnecessary harm to young kids and people who take them as an energy source. If we can replace those unhealthy energy drinks with a natural energy source, that restores blood flow, that gives you the mitochondrial energy that you need to give you the electrolytes so you can cellularly hydrate uh, the body, then it's a game changer. And I think it will be the way that we provide energy source to the masses. What's happening to those other people that are, that are having those other types of energy drinks? What are some of the negative effects? Well, they're doing themselves a disservice from the health-wise. You know, we've seen a number of young kids that are dying from cardiac arrest. Mm. You know, you get the the, all the stimulants that cause, you know, undue effects on the parasympathetic nervous system and mm. the cardiovascular system. So if you want energy, allow the body to provide that energy. And if your body can't do it, then that's what we do. We do it for you. We provide the nitric oxide that improves oxygen and circulation. We provide the electrolytes so you, the cells can actually be hydrated to perform their function. And if your body can't make ATP or cellular energy because you have mitochondrial dysfunction or chronic fatigue, Mm. then we provide it for you. So it's a really, it's a common sense approach to a natural energy source that, by the way, tastes great. And you drink it. You like it. 
Every and day. It, it's simple. Every day. Every day. <laughs> and it's simple, right? Just the lo lozenges in the morning, uh, the beets. That's right. And skincare it's morning and night. Boom, you're done. Right. The first thing I start with every day, I wash my face, I put on that topical um, and then my, my skincare system. And then I take my lozenge and then I start to do my different vitamins and, you know, different things that I want to do to my body to help it. But it's, I'm set. The, I've set the foundation by taking nitric oxide um, internally and then also applying it topically. Wow. Love it. That's incredible. You guys, um, it, this is fun again. This was one of those fun ones for me, even though Susan, I wish you were here um, to experience this studio, the sticky paw studio. Well, she's yeah. welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, anytime. Next time you got to come in Yeah. and we'll go, we'll go to that restaurant again. Deal. You know, that's right. Yeah. So what's the plan? I, I'm moving? not buying though. I can't afford it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a musician. <laughs> Our treat. I got okay. you. Thanks doc. I got it. <laughs> hey doc, I'm, I'm not even kidding. When I say I've mentioned your name, more than I've I've talked about anyone. There was a there's a kind of this crazy connection that I had, and I just knew that I met you when I needed to. Kind well, of like thing. he said, people come into our lives for real for a reason, and right? I knew At nothing. The right time. Yeah, I knew nothing about him. Yeah, and uh, I was the discovery in the moment. Yeah, blew me away. And you're what you guys are doing is going to continue to help people and it's going to be beyond it's going to be beyond what we can see in our lifetime yep what you've discovered right now you've you've made your mark and it just was impressive to me to be able to shake your hand look you in the eye and say i've met somebody who has has changed uh the way we do things so um Thank you, Brian. Yeah, I mean that very much. I wish you were here to shake your hand again. And Susan, it was really nice to meet you. I don't mean to cut, you know, keep this because we could talk forever. Ever, can we? Forever, yeah. You know. Um, can I, can I mention the, one, one? Oh, please. Quick, of course, yeah. Please. I, I want you guys to know that we also have a give back part of our company, and we give a percentage back to our fellow. Uh, partner colleague, Dr. Greg Chernoff, he has a foundation that where he supports women who have um, had some type of trauma um, to their face or their body. Um, and so we, he brings in these different women or, and, and, and takes care of them uh, with no charge. And we support them with our products as well too. And so we, we think it's very important to be able to always give back to our community uh, to be able to, you know, and it's an indirect way to say thank you um, that's amazing. Wow, I love that. You guys. I love that. Good yeah, that's guys. amazing. It's really cool. So what's next? What's next for you guys? Well, you know, we'll continue to innovate in the nitric oxide space. You know, my objective and our objective from a, from a company standpoint is to bring to market nitric oxide product technology in every major market, market segment around the world. Mm -hmm. We've done that in, in skincare. We've done it in nutrition and dietary supplements. Uh, you know, Susan's a partner in our drug company called Nitric Oxide Innovations, where we have uh, five lead drug compounds that we're developing for COVID-19, ischemic heart disease, Alzheimer's, topical diabetic uh, non-healing ulcers, and a condition called ischemic non-obstructive coronary artery disease. So expect to see those in the clinical trials uh, probably by the end of this year or first quarter of next year. And, you know, by, by all bets and by what the scientific literature tells us and by what I know and the discoveries we've made that this will be the way of the future of how we treat patients for the next several hundred years. That's amazing. I love that. It's amazing. And if I was in a position like Susan, you would have had me sold. I'd have been going, what can I hello. do? What, are, what <laughs> right. I want in, I, I, I want to be a part of this. Yes, so. just just be say, part yeah. of this. And yeah. you are, yeah. you are both a part of this now. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. We appreciate that. But um, we, we've had Dr. Nathan Bryan on our show. We have Susan Schaefer. You guys are going to, you've left Change your mark. World. You're leaving your mark and changing the world for yeah. sure. Um, Thank you so much for being here. Yeah. But we I, couldn't do this without you guys. I mean, none of this means anything if we can't get it out to the public. So absolutely. thank you. Thank you. Not only for your friendship, but for what you guys are doing on the hero's journey. Oh, likewise. Thank, thank you. you. Is there any, anything else you want to add to anybody that's watching or tuning in right now? No, I just encourage people do your research, you know, understand how the importance of nitric oxide is. And then, you know, try to make these simple, very common sense lifestyle changes that mm -hmm. can allow your body to make nitric oxide. And when you do, your body will thank you for it. 
Amazing. Susan? No, I same. I, I, I just be informed, uh, be open to learning, um, and always give yourself the chance to improve yourself. Amazing. And well Susan, said. thank you for coming out of retirement to change yes. the world. Oh, right. you know, thank you. Thank you. Know. It's been so much fun. I'm honored, honored that I can do this work with Dr. Brian and we just continue to grow and innovate. So thank you. Well, I couldn't do it without her. I can tell you that. Cool. I, I want to come to, uh, I want to come to your neck of the woods, Texas. doc. Yeah. And stay in his Barndo. I think that's Bar- what you call it. Barndominio. Yeah. I was yeah. like, what's that? And yeah, I want to go find out. <laughs> Barndo. Oh, yeah. Barndo. It's like a con- condo, condo, Barndo, Barndo. <laughs> whatever. Barndo. You, you got a new word whatever. for it. Dr. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So shout out to the Rock Rage Radio listeners. And uh, thank you to SMP Inc for sponsoring this show along with JPS Computers. Um, Dr. Nathan Bryan. Susan Schaefer. Uh, my name is Brian Hopkins. And I'm Danielle Vasanova. And Thanks this, so much for uh, watching. Yeah, this, this is a Heroes, Heroes Journey, Journey podcast. podcast. Thank you. Dream, and I believe It's coming around, it's coming around to me. 